This is my coconut fried rice. It's a great dish for weddings or parties. What's lovely about this dish is you can have it on its own or as a side. I've got my coconut milk here and it's been on the boil. I'm going to crumble in the stock cube and then I'm going to add the bay leaf. I'm just going to let the flavours infuse now and then we're going to bring it down to a simmer. I've got some rice here that's already been pre-washed and we're going to add that into the pot as well. We're going to just make sure that the coconut milk is level with the rice and turn up the heat to medium high. Every now and then you want to make sure you stir the pot so that the rice doesn't stick to the bottom. We're going to put the lid on and we're going to leave that for 10 minutes. Then we're going to move on to the vegetable mix in this pan. The first thing I want to add is some ground nut oil. And we want to get our vegetables. So starting off with our onion. then our peppers and finally our carrot just give that a quick stir so now I'm going to chop some mushrooms we're chopping these last just because they take the shortest amount of time to cook out of all the vegetables you don't have to worry about being too precise just because they shrink up anyway we're going to finish up with the mushrooms and then just get them in Just give it a quick stir. While the mushrooms are cooking, we're just going to check on the rice. That looks quite done now, so we're going to turn off the heat. So now that our vegetables are almost softened, what we're going to do is add in our spices. Add in a teaspoon of ground coriander, teaspoon of ginger, and then add in some garlic granules. And then we're just going to add in a pinch of turmeric. You don't need too much turmeric just because it does tend to change the colour of the rice slightly. Stir again. Make sure all the spices are coated over the vegetables. So you can tell the vegetables are softened now because the quantity of the pan has reduced quite a bit. I'm going to add the rice into the pan, just doing a few spoonfuls at a time. Now that all of the rice is in the pan, what you want to do is mix it all together. this a final stir and then we're going to cover it for five to ten minutes to steam then it's ready to serve this is my coconut fried rice it's a fantastic dish full of flavor for more recipes like this don't forget to subscribe